Hey, we're back. So tonight we're going to do um, a little different project. Um, my niece is going to do her own project on a canvas um, because she's making it to take to school tomorrow for her teacher. Tomorrow's my last day. Before the Christmas break. And I, okay, get this. So I picked up some gift bags and I've been wanting to try it on gift bags. I've seen people do it on gift bags. So check this out. How fun is this going to be? So remember the shoe transfer that is going to be available in January? Okay, so I'm going to use the shoes. And then, how about this? Naughty Christmas shoes. And then I'm going to glam the shoes up. I'm, I'm like super and we're excited. we're going to use like some of the glitter. Yeah, we we're going to put glitter on them. We're going to make them like sparkle. Like I think it's going to be really, really cute. So I'm super excited. Um, these are, This is my shoe transfer that I used previously um, when I made my... And the glitter works Actually, really well. I can show you the one I made yesterday. She's doing good with the glitter. So this so is the shoe transfer. Y'all so probably saw it when I went live yesterday. But... um. I made this, and the glitter turned out so good. Yeah, so we're going to glitter these shoes up. All right, so let's get moving. So let me get my shoe transfer going. Jane's going to work on hers while I'm working on mine. We're going to work independently. And looks so, like we like, actually really need help. So. Now this one I don't need to um, make unsticky again because it's already... I'm going to kind of center this in the middle. All right my shoes and I'm actually gonna use black on the shoes I think I'm gonna do black shoes with a white heel I think that'll be pretty cool so I want to be go this way or the other way that way be careful it doesn't stick oh it's not that sticky she's getting good at it too so here we go with the shoes um, my tripod should be here tomorrow y'all so I'm I've ordered an overhead one, which I'm really excited about. I'm trying to make this straight. That way you guys will be able to watch and see what I'm doing from above instead of just watching me. Yeah, and that way you'll be able to see our work. Because now y'all can't really see it. You can kind of see what we're doing. Just a little bit, but not much. So I'm taking my paste, and I am spreading it over my transfer. I'm trying to make them even. So it'll look good. That's as even as I can make it. It's not that even. And wait till y'all see what I picked up today at the store. See, mine <laughs> isn't really that even. What? See, cause. Yeah, you can straighten it up. I can't, well, I can't. I'm not good at straightening things. You want up. some help? Yes, please. Okay, let me get this shoe part done. You want to make sure you pull this up while it's wet. I'm not good at the straight. All right, I'll help you. Just give me a second. So I'm taking my excess black off of here. You don't want too much because if you put too much on here, you're going to get bleeding. It's going to... So you want to make sure that you're taking all the excess off. Okay. So. So I've got my black. See what we did? making my shoes, which this is gonna need time to dry anyway, so I can help Jane with hers while this is drying. There's my husband, we are live on my business page. Oh, these are gonna be super cute. Okay, ready? So let me get this excess. I had a little bit, I went off the edge a little bit here with the black. So I'm just getting it off, and it comes off pretty easily. Look at, that's going to be so cool. Check out the shoes on the bag. All right, so we're going to let that dry, and I'm going to help Jane get her shoes. Okay. Let me see. I'm so bad at this. I mean, I'm so, good at doing it, but I can't, I'm not good at it. We're going to put it. Now, we do have a measuring tool that you can get. I don't have one yet. I've ordered one. <laughs> She's making faces. <laughs> All right, that's pretty straight. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so while she's doing that, I am going to, this is our shoes so far. I'm going to blow dry these. 
So give me just a minute because I need them dry so we can do the second part of the sheets. Let me use these to mix it and these to put it on. You gotta mix it so it'll look like, kind of like, um, kind of whipped cream, cream cheesy. I don't know. It might take a while. See, kind of, it has to kind of look like this. Whoa. Let me get that. Now that's dry. That doesn't take very long to dry at all. Oh, there's one part that's still wet. Hold on. Because it clumped up. Okay. So let's do the yes. second part of our shoes. All right, guys. So look, we're making shoe bags. Wait till y'all see what I'm going to do. Uh, that is plenty. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to come back and use my black on the other side. But I'm going to use some for the bottom. Because, not like the bottom, bottom, but... So, this is the second part of the transfer for the shoes. So, what you do with these, then this is going to be available in January. You take these and you line them up, right? So, you want to make sure that your first layer is dry. This is part of your layering process. Can Which? I use just to get it off the thing, the white thing? What? Because it got on the white thing. Yep. And by the way, instead of using like a paper towel or anything, um, this works the best. Yep. That's our little eraser. It's like our it's magic, like a magic eraser. Because eraser. you have something, wipe it, and it's all gone. Easy. All right, so I'm just putting on the bottom part of these. So I'm gonna do the second part of this white and I'm gonna make them all glittery. It's gonna be so cool. Then I'm gonna flip it over and put the words on the other side. So I'm kind of doing what she did on her last. This will be the best year. And um, if you can kind of see, well, you can't really see it, but it's in the background. It turns into different colors as it's going, and you that's kind of what I'm it. doing. Mm -hmm. But instead of using so two, leave a little space right there, and then mix it with your finger. It's a new technique I just learned, y'all. All right, so leave a space between that, and then we'll mix it. All right, so I'm gonna do the white, which is the white is getting. Where's that water? Water right here. Yeah. Thank you. So my chalk is getting a little pasty clumpy because I've been using the same one. This is the one that came in my starter kit. So all these nights that we've been chalking together, I've been using the same one. So I'm mixing it up. Oh, I still need this. Um, let me just get a paper towel. Because you don't want it too it. thick. And guys, I just made an accident. I put this, I put this thing in here oh. when I still needed it and I forgot I still needed it. So I'm just going to wipe it off. I might have put too much water in here. It's probably dead. See, okay. I got a lot of it on. Dip your magic eraser in it. Take it on. See, she's good. She knows what she's doing. All right. So Scrape I'm gonna it. try this. I may have used too much. Cha uh, too much water. Maybe I should open my other white. First time I've added water to it. Where's my other white? Your other white? Yeah. I don't think we have two whites. We do. I bought a second one. Today. Here it is. I'm gonna open this one and let that one sit. I may have added too much to it. Hey, Teresa. Okay. One of the things is, if you, you go through a lot of white chalk. White is like a really popular. White is like the most thing you need on this yeah so you always want to make sure you have a backup of white and now you can never have too much white <laughs> okay where's the it's kind of like oh uh, you can never have too much chocolate 
chocolate is amazing. Or wine. Wine's the other one. No. No such no. thing as too much wine. Uh, there's a lot of I need to get wine. myself a wine transfer. I hope we come out Don't with some. Don't send it. Don't make one. <laughs> Do not. All right. Come on. All right. Let's keep moving. All right. So, I'm opening up a new white. Okay. Um, so, I, I did this. And now, I'm going to use the light pink. Hmm? When this is done... It's gonna look so good. I need to get a little bit of the water. All right, I'm gonna. This stuff is messy, but it cleans right up. Yeah, that water really helps. Yeah, you just need a little couple drops. That's it. You don't have to dump the whole thing in like I did. <laughs> Did you really dump, like, almost the whole I thing? I dumped a lot in, yeah. All right, so. So now I'm putting the white on my shoes. And, my, and I'm, you want to go very quickly with this because then we're going to put the sprinkles on. As soon as we get the. Oh, I need to mix with my finger. Just a little bit. This is so how this is so cool how you can make these. Yep. My husband's in there making more cupcakes. His cupcakes are good. They were really good, y'all. Um, so I'm just using the white right now to get. Yeah, we're gonna end up eating them all. They're really good. All right, so I'm gonna pull this quickly and I'm gonna add my glitter and I'm gonna let the glitter dry. Oopsie. Okay, where's my glitter? Did you find the glitter you wanted to use? Yes, if I could get it. This is like not sticky anymore, it's not. Not so I'm going to put my glitter on here and let it soak in. Oh, this is going to be cool. Very cool. Wait do y'all see this. So I'm letting the glitter soak in. That's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the back and do my lettering on the back. As soon as this is dry. It's kind of messing up because it's coming off. Like, what? it's lifting up. See? Yeah, keep it down. We'll have it's to put not, some more spray on there. It's not wanting to stick. Because everybody's used it. So when your backing starts to lose its stickiness, um, you can use a spray that will put more sticky on it. But right now we're going to finish it. As long as you keep it down, it'll be fine. Okay? All right. So let me get my glitter off and blow dry this. So we can flip it over. Hers is like going fast. Mine's like kind of going slow because I just not finished that one. And now we're going to use this blue. Oh, look how chunky that is. So I'm going to have to use water. Ugh. As you can see, I'm mixing it and it's like, ugh. Ish. So there was this thing at school that I saw today. They made a fish. Like they could make different animals. And there was this one who made fish. And at the end of it, you had to add ish. There was one that said bearish, and then birdish, and then there was one a person who made a thing that said birdish. Like no fishish. Here we go. Look had at the fish glitter. And ish. Fish Can y'all see the sparkle? Look at how pretty that is. So this is our little shoe gift bag. You see that? All right, so now we're gonna do the words on the back and this is where it's gonna be fun. So I've got to cut magic. my words out. Ugh, I'm just gonna set them in there. That sucks. 
So we are going to make this our naughty Christmas shoes. Okay, now I gotta mix it a little. My finger. Guys, this is so cool. You know what I could do? What could you do? Is it's so cool how these two mix because look, I just mixed that a little bit and look what happened. Oh, yeah, so she's mixing it with her fingers now. It looks like a part. Oh, my, see, it's gonna be kind of cheating because look, I'm mixing it a little bit and it kind of made a purple. So I am, um, this is the first time I'm using my naughty. So I am fuzzing it. Now, the problem is the bag has, see the little lumps right here? So I don't know what that's gonna look like when I get, hopefully it'll turn out okay. I don't know how of well that's going to take with okay the transfer. Because you're doing it. It'll turn out okay because you're doing it. Naughty. That's crooked. <laughs> that could be fun, though. Mm. I got it a little crooked. I'm getting upset because it's like losing the stickiness. Well, you want... Me up. I know. You got to hurry, though, because you want to pull the top part off. And I want to add glue, so... I'm trying to hurry, but... You got to be quick before it dries. But I'm not quick. And slow and steady and, and oh. this is this bag idea is gonna be so cute. Mm. I wish mm. I was had some like vendor shows to do because I would totally sell these bags. Naughty Christmas, and then we're gonna do shoes. You see this? What? It's completely messing me up. Okay, honey, I. I'm sorry. Well, I will help you. All right, so you want to pull this part off. It's smeared. Yeah, it's smeared because it's not sticky. Yeah. See? Okay, we'll finish it. I can't finish it. So it's gonna I need like you that. to finish it and we can fix it. I'll show you. All right, so let me do the shoe part. So we're gonna do the naughty, I think, mm. in black. And now I'm using this color and I'm not gonna blend it in with yet because yet I'm gonna do a little bit like of all the colors in it, so. Mm. black. I wonder if I can put some glitter on the black. I know what glitter you would use. You could use the white one like I did with the unicorn. I was thinking about using the colored glitter. Because when it was black, oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm just making sure I got it. Down in there, good. The squeegee, I probably should be using a smaller squeegee for it. All right. Well, there's really any small squeegees now. I'm gonna do the shoes in black. Didn't you already do the shoes? Oh, the word shoes. I'm doing the word shoes. I was like, didn't you already do the shoes? <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, redo mine because... Okay. Well, we'll have to... If it's not sticking, we'll have to put that sticky spray on there. Because a lot of people used it at my party. 
So, and this is one of the downfalls to using the canvas. That's why I like the chalkboards. Um, because if you mess up on a canvas, you're kind of done. <laughs> but if you were using a chalk couture chalkboard, you just wipe it off and start over. I don't over. think this is a chalkboard. No, that's a canvas. Yeah. So. We just got this so we can demo stuff on using the canvas. Um, and trying different, different types of things to show you how you can use the products. All right, so I'm gonna use. There we go. Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the one that I used for the violet kind of color. I'm doing my Christmas. Uh oh, I got some on the bag. I probably should have used smaller squeegees for this. Okay, ready? So let's do this. Hey, Allison. Hey, Barbara. We are making a shoe bag. Look at this. And I'm doing the words on the other side. Now, these are just gift bags that I picked up at just a random store. I've never done it on gift bags, so I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Um, I'm still not sure how it's going to turn out, so we're doing it together. So this started to dry already, the black did. All right. So you can always go back in and touch it up. Should have fuzzed this a little bit better. I'm gonna go hunting now. A lot of these things. Huh. Ah. All right, so oh, I want to try to get some glitter on this if it'll stick. Oh, no. Don't. Okay. I don't know if how well the glitter is going to stick. I probably should have done each word one at a time and then pulled it up. But we're learning together, right? All right. So the glitter did really well on the shoes on the back side. This is the cutest little bag, though, for real. Wait till y'all see it. So I'm going to try to get some of this white off right here where I messed up. This is what I'm saying. It's always better if you can... I think it's going to be permanent um, to use the chalkboard. Or if you have a steady hand, oh, I might be able to get it off. There, I got it. It's going to leave a little smudge, but it is what it is. All right, let me take the glitter off. Excess. So the glitter didn't stick as well as I had hoped. I should have done it when it was a little wetter. But check this out. So we now have this adorable little gift bag that we just made for our naughty Christmas shoes. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. Like, how cute is that? So you can just take these transfers and make all kinds of little gift bags and fun things. So um, just to dress things up a little bit and kind of personalize your Christmas. And my niece is over here finishing... Um, her best year yet. She's doing it in an ombre. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to turn out bad because it's smudging. Yeah, we had a little problem with the stickiness. So we've used this transfer like, I don't know, five or six times. So what happens is it starts to lose its stickiness. So let me show you guys what has happened. All right, this is not a big deal. This was my fault for not checking it before she used it. Um, but if it loses its stickiness and it starts rolling up like that, there is a spray that you can get. Um, Chalk Couture doesn't sell it, um, so I can show it to you. But you can always get, it's an adhesive spray, okay? And you can just use that adhesive spray to get your adhesive back on there. Um, so if, 
if that were to happen, like we said, we've used this five to six times. So we'll just put the adhesive spray next time we want to use it and it's going to be good as new again. So she is doing a great job on hers. See how she's doing the ombre coloring? And now I'm doing like my last color that I need, which is, I don't know what color this is. Yeah, but. she's using her different colors every year. Very cute. And here, if you want to see this, not backwards. Not, that little scratch is where I messed up on the white, but that's okay. And then here's our little shoes on the back. I just love that. How cute is that? So we have some smearing, but it's okay. It still looks really great. This will be the best year yet. Look at how she did the colors in there. And it all blends together. She did an awesome this job. This is the first two colors. Yep. This is the second two. And this is just all of them together. Yeah, she did a great job. So that was our little project for tonight. Um, hopefully I'm inspiring you guys to get out there and get creative with these products. There's so many things that you can do. So you guys have seen me do them on the chalkboards um, from Chalk Couture. You've seen me do them on the canvases. Now, like I said, the problem with the canvas, you can use any canvas. Uh, but if you make a mistake, it's hard to fix. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, the Chalk Couture boards are amazing. And I went to Michael's today um, and was comparing their chalk boards to ours. Holy cow, ours are so nice. Um, but anyway, I love the chalk boards because you can rinse them off, like rinse and repeat, right? Where if you want to take it off a of canvas, it's you might be able to get a little bit off if you make a mistake, but you're not going to be able to clean the whole thing. Um, same thing with the bags. Um, these bags I actually got at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so... Um, I'm not allowed to say where, but, you know, a store that has consistent pricing. Um, and so that's all I used was to make that bag. So if you guys want to try this stuff, okay, and you're like, I really want to try it. It looks super easy, super fun. We have a special going on. All right, this just started yesterday, and we spilled some water on it. But it's our Simply Said You Can Do This, You Are Enough. All right, it's going to give you everything you need to do a project at home by yourself. It's gonna give you the backing. It's a 10-inch um, octagon frame. It's gonna give you the transfer, which is a size B, you are enough. And it's gonna give you four different single-use pastes, which are cool. So you don't have to invest in buying the big things of paste. So you can try it in one small squeegee. So it's everything that you need. It's $34.99, so it's super awesome. You can check, um, click the link. I'll put the link in this live when it's done, but you can also get to it right on my website. Um, chalkcouture.com forward slash Bridget and I'll post the link so thanks for tuning in tonight I hope you guys are having a great night I will post the pictures of the finished projects as well so you guys can see when we're all done but you guys have